The Detroit Zoological Society's statement of purpose is celebrating and saving wildlife. This statement applies to efforts to save entire species as well as the lives of individual animals. The Detroit Zoo is home to many rescued animals. Let's learn more about how a male reticulated python came to call the Detroit Zoo home. Reticulated pythons are often victims of the exotic pet trade. Due to the high demand for these animals, smugglers will capture them from the wild and sell them to willing buyers. These animals suffer from inhumane conditions throughout this process. For example, the reticulated python who lives at the zoo was found in a traveler's suitcase during a customs check following a flight from the Philippines to Seattle, Washington. He was confiscated by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and found sanctuary at the zoo in October of 2009. Even after captured reticulated pythons are sold to their quote-unquote owners, they may continue to suffer. These animals become very large, measuring anywhere from 15 to 30 feet long and weighing over 300 pounds, and they require a substantial diet of birds and mammals in order to stay healthy. People who buy reticulated pythons often become overwhelmed by the requirements of caring for them and resort to releasing them into the wild, which is not good for the pythons or the local environment. For instance, in Florida, there is a large population of reticulated pythons who were once pets, but released into the wild by people who no longer wanted to care for them. These animals do not have any natural predators in Florida, so their population has grown unchecked. This population growth has had a negative impact on the ecosystem and wildlife agencies have resorted to capturing and killing reticulated pythons to minimize the impact. Thankfully, this reticulated python has found his forever home at the Detroit Zoo where he receives care that ensures his great welfare. Would you like to help animals like him? One of the best ways to help is by making responsible companion animal decisions and teaching other people to do the same. Remember that when choosing a companion animal, dogs and cats have changed over several thousand years of living with humans and are some of the best non-human companions for us. Making a good companion animal choice is important, both for you and for the animal you will potentially be bringing into your home. Here are a few questions to get started before adopting an animal. Am I able to meet the animal's physical and psychological needs for his or her entire life? Do I have the time and the money needed to properly take care of this animal? Do local ordinances or laws prohibit owning this kind of animal? Will my veterinarian be able to provide his or her medical care? How much am I able to spend on veterinary costs? What will I do if there is a problem? Will this animal get along with animals that are already in my home?